Hi guys, today I'm gonna share with you some interesting techniques. I'm sure many of you will find it very useful. Now, take a look at this. Pretty cool, isn't it? Wanna know how to make one of these? Okay, let's get started. First of all, we need to create a text layer and choose a font we like. Okay, good. Now create a placeholder composition. Then duplicate the placeholder and pre-compose it. Rename it to Gradient. Add Gradient RAM to it and Tint Effect with blue and dark blue colors. Now go to Layers. Layer Styles. Set the inner shadow opacity to 35%. 350 degree angle, distance 13, size 23. Copy placeholder twice, pre-compose and rename to details. Open details and rename the upper layer to alpha and the lower one to bevel. All right, open this composition. Add white fill. Create a black adjustment layer with the fast box blur effect. Create a solid fractal and add fractal noise with the following settings. Noise type, soft linear. Set contrast to 120. Brightness, minus one. Rotation, 18. Scale width, 55. Height is also 55. Complexity, 6. Blending mode set to Add. Now go to the main composition. Create a new solid with CC Glass. Bump Map, Comp Bevel, Height 25. Light using AE lights. Hide alpha and bevel layers. Add set matte to the glass layer with take matte from layer. Com, alpha, use for matte, lightness. All right, let's do the lighting. We'll have to create a few light sources to make a convex. All right, so we'll put the first white color light source with 155% intensity. Light option, parallel. Position. 1600, minus 30, minus 250. Now create a second light layer. It'll be ambient. Light option, ambient. Intensity, 50%. White color, obviously. And the last one is additional blue light source. Quite good, isn't it? Shout out to Mr. Andrew Kramer. Okay, now go to the main composition. Move details come under gradient come and change blending mode to overlay. And maybe we should correct the texture of the damaged edges a little bit. Just open the bevel come, find adjustment layer and change the blur radius. Duplicate placeholder composition and pre-compose it. Change the name to snow cap. Open the come and duplicate placeholder again. Rename it to mask. Then add fill and change the color to white. The next effect we'll use is CC Slant. Height, 97. Change track matte to alpha inverted matte. Go to the main com to finish your snow cap. Add simple choker, 0.80 for example. Copy and set minus 10. Fast blur, 11. Roughen edges, edge type, cut. Border, 8. Edge sharpness, 3.50. Set the fractal influence to 1. Scale, 120. Stretch width or height to minus 12. Fill with white. Then select layers. Layer styles. Inner shadow. Color, blue. Opacity, 40%. Angle, 320 degrees. Distance, 13, 
size 8, noise 10%. Okay. Precompose all layers as ice text. Alright. Now we're gonna do something with that text. We're gonna create a fake extrusion. That's what we're gonna do. So add 393 rotation degree transform. Minimax, operation, maximum. Radius 7, channel alpha, direction, just vertical. Transform. Rotation, minus 393. Fill, blue. CC composite, uncheck RGB only. Looks good, but there's a problem with the extrusion. Can you see what's happening? We gotta fill up our snow cap layer. Now we'll do it in a second. Okay, we are now ready to make a shadow. So copy ice text and rename it to shadow. Add CC radial blur. Type, fading zoom. Amount, six. Center, minus 215, minus 4000. Fill, dark blue. Select snow cap and add dark blue drop shadow. Opacity, 25%. Direction, 175 degrees. Distance, 8. Softness, 13. Now pre-comp all layers and call them text. All right, it is now time to create the background image. So add a solid and a gradient ram effect to it. Ram shade, radial ram with white blue and dark blue. Import the ice texture image and place it under the text layer. Add curves and set it up according to the screen. Change blending mode to screen. Now the next step is to make a frost. Create a comp and call it frost. And make a solid. Then add fractal noise. Fractal type threads. Set keys to contrast, 333 and 1800. Now to animate the setting, uncheck invert, select both keyframes and easy ease them by hitting F9. Brightness, minus 1000. Complexity, 1.5. Sub influence, 150. And add fast blur with blurriness of 7. Now copy the layer and delete contrast keys. Change the value to 2350. Brightness, minus 27. Complexity, 10. Select the lower layer and change the track mat to Luma. Uncheck fast blur. Then create an adjustment layer and add CC vector blur with type, constant length, amount 500. Angle offset, plus 10 degrees. Ridge smoothness, 100. Map softness, 43. Select all layers and pre-compose them. Add a mask to remove the unnecessary frostness. And let's say big thank you to another one of our uncles, Uncle Goatman. Now put the frost composition to a timeline and change the blending mode to screen. All right, we got to the last step, the snowfall. Now to generate a snowfall, you can use a, the native CC snowfall effect or trap code particular. I'll get a free snow element from Dynamic Cartoon FX pack. But for this lesson, I've already prepared the pre-rendered element sequence based on procedural and hand-drawn animation from our packs. You'll find all the links in the description. Okay. Yes. Looks a lot better now. And it's quite useful too. And because we've made a procedural text, you can change it anytime. Okay, that's all folks. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Don't forget to hit thumbs up, check the bell, and subscribe to my channel. Have a good effects. See you next time.